Hello people this is self tuts and we are continuing our series on docker for beginners and in this video we'll learn that how we can view or tail the logs of a docker container so docker containers are basically used for deploying the application so let's say you have deployed your own rest application that can be a to do application or some or the the mysql team has deployed or created their own image through which we can create containers for our mysql databases so let's say you have deployed mysql on your local machine using containers and you want to view the logs of that particular software that is mysql so how you can do that using docker containers if that had that would have been a case of without docker then we know that where is the log file and how we can see the logs so basically for docker containers we can also view the a uh, view or tail the logs of the docker container the command that we will be using is docker logs and again we can give the container id or the container name and this command is used for viewing the logs of the docker container but what this command will do this will print out the docker logs and basically it will exit if new logs are there then that will not be present with docker logs command again we have to fire this command of docker logs and then again the new logs will come with the existing old one but if you want to view the continuous logs or you want to do the tail then you need to use this parameter of hyphen hyphen follow so again docker logs hyphen hyphen follow container id will basically print all the logs in a tailing format like it will be a continuous log let's say you have your rest server and new requests are coming then those logs will also get printed if you use the hyphen hyphen follow command so let's see these two commands on the on our local machine where we have basically created a container if we use docker ps then we'll get the mysql container which is already there let's see the logs of this container so we'll say docker logs and then the container id so let's copy this container id let's paste it here and if i hit enter you can see this is the logs so some of the logs are related to docker like entry entry point script mysql server so these are the different logs that was printed when we started this container and this is basically mysql logs but you have seen that whenever i did docker logs and then the container id so it printed the logs and then it exited from the terminal let's say if new logs are there then we have to again fire this command and that will again print the new logs but if you want to follow it so we need to use the command docker logs hyphen hyphen follow and then the container id so container id is this one i'll hit enter and now if you can see we have got all the logs and at the bottom if you can see the program has not exited so if new logs are there so it will be printed here so you don't need to again do docker logs it will start tailing the logs because we have used the hyphen hyphen follow command so this command these commands are very important for your application also like where you deployed your rest api server you deployed your image resizer application you deployed your to do application so for all those things you will also create container and if you want to view the logs if you want to get into the details like what things are happening with your container with your application then you can use this command so hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and please share these videos with other people